Well, back here in the Portland area, a violent weekend is keeping police busy. Three people were killed in the city. Three others were hurt. And tonight, some of the shooters are still on the loose while family and friends are asking for answers. But at least one suspect has been caught. Fox 12's Laura Rios joins us live from downtown Portland, where the suspect in two murders faced a judge for the first time. Laura? Yeah, Pete, Robert Richardson Jr. is accused of shooting three people outside a Northeast Portland bar. Two of them died. This shooting happened while he was out of jail awaiting trial for a totally different crime. And tonight, one of the victim's family members and one Portland city leader want to know why. And I'd also like to say that my son, Justin, his brother, he was holding his brother, dying brother in his arms on his birthday. No brother or family should ever have to endure that. Anthony Howard's family is struggling after a night of celebration turned deadly. On Friday night, Howard and friends were celebrating his little brother's birthday at the Hourglass Pub in Northeast Portland. Police say Robert Richardson Jr. got into a fight with a group of friends outside the bar and shot three people. Anthony and Eric Takamoto were killed. A third man was shot but survived. Anthony's family was told he pushed the suspect away before being shot. We're going to remember my brother as a hero, a man amongst men, somebody who stood up for others even till the day he died. That's how I'm going to remember him. That's how I want everybody to remember him. He's a good person. That's the truth. Just, just exactly the way it was. Richardson, Robert. Richardson, no mail. Suspect Robert Richardson Jr. faced a judge today. The shooting happened while Richardson was awaiting trial for charges of unlawful possession of a firearm and cocaine possession. Back on May 2nd, police say Richardson was a passenger in a vehicle suspected of being involved in a drive-by shooting in the Montevilla neighborhood. No one was hurt, but cops say they found a shotgun, a handgun, cocaine, and thousands of dollars of cash in the car. Why was he back on the street? And, um... Are we tough enough on these gun crimes? Portland City Commissioner Nick Fish just happened to be on a ride-along Friday night and went to the crime scene. I'd like to get some answers to that question because maybe it was preventable. Anthony's family has the same questions. I don't understand that. So that's definitely something that we'll be looking into um, after we're, we're done laying our brother to rest. Man. Now, a spokeswoman from Multnomah County told me their recognizance department actually recommended uh, denying the release of this suspect back in May for that alleged crime. They tell me the judge allowed him to go on community release, so he was released from jail and was under the supervision of a probation officer. Now, Portland police tell me this shooting they do not think is gang-related. Live in downtown Portland, I'm Laura Rios, Fox 12 Oregon.